Hello, this is John from WHMCS. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to upgrade your WHMCS installation to the latest version. You'll know when a new version is available because you'll see red An Update is Available text in the System Information section on the sidebar and Admin Summary widget. You can also visit the Check for Updates page under the Help menu. When an update is available, log in to our Members area Navigate to Services, Licenses and Services, click the View Details button next to your license and click the Download tab. The latest version will be listed here by default, so click Download Now. Save the file to your computer and once the download is complete, upload it to your server. Before we go any further, we want to be sure that any template and language customizations we've made are not lost by the upgrade. If you've not customized your language files or templates, then this step can be skipped. So in your lang directory, create a subdirectory called overrides, into which you will copy your customized language file. I've made some customizations to my default template. So in order to keep those, I'm renaming it from default to a custom name. If you've done this already when making the customizations, then that's excellent. After the upgrade, the custom template can be selected from the general settings menu. The final preparation is to download a backup of the WHMCS database. In this example, we're using cPanel, so save the backup to your computer. With the preparations done, we can extract the new WHMCS files over the existing ones. In this example, we're using cPanel, so I'm just going to use the File Manager tool to make this a bit easier. Just select all the files, drag them into the WHMCS directory to override them. Here I'm just tidying up the temporary location where the new files were extracted. Next we'll see how to update the custom template. Again, if you haven't customized your templates, this step can be skipped. Begin on the documentation site docs.whmcs.com and navigate to the release notes page. Then refer to the template changes section. Here is listed all the individual template files that have been changed in this particular release and so will need updating. The process is simple enough. Go through all the list and upload a copy from the original template into your custom template directory. So if your template was based upon default, then you'd upload the changed files from the templates slash default directory to your custom template directory, as I'm doing here. If you've made any changes to these individual files, then you would need to make your customizations to them again, but chances are you have not, so it will be fine to overwrite them. So let's get on with the uploading. For the purposes of expediency, I've skipped ahead a little bit and just putting the finishing touches to updating my custom template now. Now the custom template has been updated, we need to run the upgrade script. To do this, visit the install.php file in the install directory using your browser. If you try and visit the admin area, you'll also be directed to the upgrade script. Read and agree to the end user license agreement, confirm you have made a backup and click the perform upgrade button. And that's the upgrade completed. 
Now, for security reasons, we must delete the install directory. Once that's done, we can visit the admin area and log in. And you're done. WHMCS has been upgraded. Finally, I'd very much recommend reading the release notes page in full, particularly the last section and also the change log. This will ensure you are aware of any important changes in the software. Both can be found on our documentation website. Thanks for watching.